Let me now come to solar cells and its characteristics. I am this is a semiconductor and I know the students are here from all disciplines. So, I will do it at a very top level, hmm? would not get into details of this. So, essentially this is what a solar cell looks like. Basically there is a p type, p type silicon if it is a silicon cell and then there is a n type silicon, there is a depletion layer and of course, there is a bottom holding layer and there is a conductor at the top and there is a conductor at the bottom and this is how the current will flow when light falls. And this is the uh, symbol of a photovoltaic uh, cell. So, this shows light is falling, when light is falling the cell will produce electricity and uh, the approximate voltage will be a 0.58 volt DC. This is for a single cell. So, this is a very common so, P V cell is the basis of a solar panel, P, P n junction diode using photovoltaic principle. When there is no illumination, it is like a diode, just like a diode. When light falls on the n type surface, valence electrons gets excited and move into conductance pad to a negative terminal through the top metallization. So, in fact, the current will flow reverse direction. Normally, diode current is supposed to follow in the forward direction, as when light is excited, it will follow in the flow in the reverse direction. Uh, light falls on the n type surface, valence bond get excited and move into conduction band. Electrons flow out into the external circuit and comes to back to P substrate through a bottom metallization. Important that incident radiation is perpendicular to the surface, I talked about it. As illumination increases, the amount of light increases. There is a certain amount of current that is a very, very small current, dark current, mostly reverse biased uh, diode current, practically negligible current. And when the light starts falling, uh, you will see the current fall coming. So, this is the typical characteristic, this is the forward bias of a typical diode above a certain voltage, you suddenly see that the current is proportional to the voltage and more and more current will flow, all the current will flow. Uh, this it is a reverse bias that we are more interested in. This happens only when light falls and when the light falls, the, when, when there is no light falling of course, this is what you see uh, and then there is a breakdown, this is called Zener breakdown. So, this is the reverse current when there is a uh, uh, reverse voltage. Now, where does this come from? So, this is a typical circuit, equivalent circuit. There is a diode current, this is this is a normal diode current, this is a photovoltaic, this is where the light will fall. There is a shunt resistance and series resistance. And the current I is the photovoltaic current minus the dark uh, minus the diode current uh, in the forward direction, if there is a diode current, if it is a reverse of diode direction, I d is 0 and the current that will flow if there is a voltage here current that will flow in the shunt. Diode current is given by I 0 into E V plus I R S plus N V T minus 1. This is a standard diode equation. Now, remember when it is negative then no current will flow hmm? and typically um, N can be 2, 2 or 1 the shunt current and that it is dependent on temperature, this is k t by q v t and this is the current flowing outside the circuit and shunt current, shunt current, this current is v minus i r s, v plus i r s because this is the current flowing, the v plus i r s divided by r s h. This is the reverse bias, bias diode. I had already talked about this dark current practically when there is no light falling, but as the light falls you see this the current in the reverse direction, okay? voltage and the current. So, the two important parameters is a short circuit current. Now, short circuit current maximum current when cell has 0 voltage, huh? 0 voltage. So, this is the maximum current. And at 400 watt per hour, uh, 
uh, you will see this uh, current at 600 watt. Uh, remember that it is a negative direction which is the current that we are uh, interested in. Uh, so, this is the place where it maximizes after that it keeps on going for voltage and then kind of goes drops. So, open circuit voltage is another very important parameter. What when you do not put a load what is the open circuit voltage and open circuit voltage. So, your normal volt open circuit voltage is uh, uh, given when there is no current and when there is no current basically what you are saying is that I is 0 and therefore, you can now calculate what you can do is you can just take this equation convert it into ln and I d by I 0 and use this and then you get I photovoltaic plus I 0 by I 0 is E V O C plus I R S by N V O T. Hmm. Which basically means if you take natural log this E will become V O C plus I R S um, and uh, um, you, as long as the I is 0 this I R S term is not there and V T term you can take the other side. So, N V T into natural log of I P V plus I 0 by I 0. This is the important equation that you must remember. This is the open circuit voltage. Hmm? This is the open circuit voltage. Okay. As solar power increases, as solar power is increasing, short circuit current increases linearly. But as solar power increases, short circuit current increases linearly, but this V O C will increase logarithmically. Maximum voltage is 0.85 volt, more typically operation at 0 0.5, 0 0.6 volt or even lower. So, this is the open circuit voltage V O C. Hmm. It is important what the voltage is. Huh? Uh, maximum voltage from the solar cell when net current in the device is 0. When the net current is 0, hmm, uh, well net current is 0, net current is 0, this is the open circuit sorry actually this arrow should have been V O C out here, this is the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. So, it says the reverse short this is a short circuit current, this is the open circuit voltage this is a short circuit current. Okay. This is what I showed earlier as more and more power falls you see these this depend these light lines are dependent amount of solar power incident and this is the voltage versus current. Now, I have put everything in positive because that is how I will operate. I will always put it in reverse direction. I am not bothered about the forward direction. This is what happens and if you see these are the maximum power point. So, peak power is maximum power point voltage. So, maximum power point voltage will be this and maximum power point current will be this. This is the maximum power PV cell can generate at any 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 l amount of light incident and this is the voltage at the maximum power and this is the current. So, you actually calculate this with variation in solar insolence peak power harvested from solar panel also varies. So, this is the typical curve for the solar incident. Okay. Uh, this is a simple assignment please solve this.